Uh, hello to everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to thank my colleague, uh, Marika Kuzmic and the SUSH Institute and Museum for the opportunity to participate in their program. Uh, it is essential for present uh, female artists, uh, primarily overlooked, uh, who worked in Central Eastern Europe and the post-Yugoslav uh, cultural field. Uh, I will present the work of female artists who worked uh, on the Novi Sad neo-avant-garde uh, scene uh, during the 60s and uh, uh, 70s. So, uh, Novi Sad, uh, the capital of Vojvodina province, was a center of new artistic practice in socialist Yugoslavia uh, during the 60s and 70s. At the same time, Novi Sad, uh, Novi Sad was along with Ljubljana and uh, Zagreb, one of the first cities where artists uh, articulated the neo-avant-garde or new artistic practice in uh, Yugoslav geopolitical and cultural space. Of course, uh, we are talking about a generation of artists who have created on the wave of turbulent social events and movements that swept through the 60s. Student demonstrations, the flourishing of youth culture, the fight for human and women's rights, sexual revolution, uh, hippie movement, uh, new forms uh, of lifestyle, etc. Uh, the key micro institutions of uh, Novi Sad's new artistic practice in the 60s were the Youth Tribune, uh, Polya magazine or Fields magazine, Uy Symposium magazine, uh, the Student Magazine Index, and uh, the Neo Planta Movie House. Novi Sad's Youth Tribune, uh, established in 1954 as a part of uh, People's University, uh, was conceived as an oral magazine for the youth and the student population. Uh, youth Tribune was a cultural center with several programs, exhibition, uh, exhibitions, artistic actions and performances, book launches and lectures. And it, is, uh, it was also the place where the editorial boards of the uh, uh, two literary magazines, uh, Polya and Uy Symposium, uh, were. And by the way, uh, today, uh, magazine Polya uh, is still one of the best uh, literary magazines in Serbia. Uh, these magazines were vital sites for uh, actualizing the Hungarian and Yugoslav avant-garde and contemporary models of new artistic practice. Uh, these micro-institutions were devoted to exceptional transnational mobility, exchange and networking, and uh, consistently dedicated to innovative political social and creative thought and action. In the same time, uh, Youth Tribune, Polya and Uy um, Symposium were the platforms where the most radical artistic practices at that time in Yugoslavia and uh, following uh, uh, youth activist culture were created and shaped by, by production. Uh, youth culture and the generation of 68, on the wave of liberalization of bureaucratic socialism in Yugoslavia, also brought about an artistic revolution on the Novi Sad scene, marked by neo-leftist ideas and movements, transnational mobility and artistic uh, experimentation. In contrast to the new artistic practice in the West, which opposed to commercial demands uh, on the market, of the market, the primary direction of the neo-avant-garde in Yugoslavia was more left than left. Uh, it developed against socialist aestheticism, highly aestheticized 
but ideologically neutral or uh, moderate uh, modernism. In the last decade or two, interest in the Novi Sad and uh, Vojvodina, uh, new avant-garde, has become more current. Researchers and curators have formed a solid academic body of knowledge about it. Also, we have uh, television shows and documentaries about the Novi Sad, new avant-garde, and the Museum of Contemporary Arts of Vojvodina in Novi Sad, maintains an exhibition dedicated to this phenomenon. In recent years, researchers and curators have attracted the attention of women who worked on the Novi Sad scene in the 60s and 70s, primarily uh, Katalin Ladik, uh, Bogdan Kapuzanovic, and Judita Schalko. To a greater or lesser extent, these authors are solidly covered in monographs, uh, however, it seems that their creativity and social engagement, especially in the context of feminist activism, are not sufficiently or adequately integrated into the narratives of the new avant-garde and in broader social currents, especially emancipatory events after 68. A comparative view of their works is also essential for establishing the continuity of artistic and political actions of women in the Yugoslav and post-Yugoslav area and um, cultural, cultural space. As you can see on this slide, even a short insight into the artistic practice of Katarina Ladik Bogdan Kapuznanovic and Judith Shalgo suggest that they were multidisciplinary authors communicated with different genres and approaches, exchange and crisscrossed creative experience from innovative positions and artistic and non-artistic areas highly engaged in the art scene. Moreover, they were initiators of certain forms of new artistic practice. Also, their engagement is vital for establishing the neo avant garde infrastructure in uh, 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 Novi Sad, developing crucial micro institutions of new creative practice and their mediation and networking. Neo avant garde policies tend to create an alternative public. Uh, places of resistance and positions for expressing radical poetic gestures and social interventions. For this purpose, non-institutional space and actions such as uh, artistic collectives and groups, salons, or summits that culture were formed. Also, one of the strategies was appropriating the institutional network from the inside they try to affirm new literary and artistic practice. And Bogdan Kapuzanovic and Judita Schalko played a crucial role in forming space for contemporary artistic practice. Bogdan Kapuzanovic participated in founding the Youth Tribune, and uh, she was the editor of the art section of Polya magazine. Moreover, uh, Bogdan Kapuznanovic and her partner, uh, Dan Kapuznanovic, founded uh, Atelier D320 in uh, 1961. In the space they got for the studio at Dmitry Tutsovich Street in Novi Sad. And Bogdan Kapuznanovic testified, uh, I, I quote, that Attic was a center where numerous personalities from all over the country and the world gladly came. The space was full of books and magazines, pictures and music. Our sensibilities were cultivated in there." Uh, end quote. Bogdan Kapuzanovic uh, published an interesting article in the second issue of Polya magazine. Uh, for the new artistic practice of the 60s, the actualization of 
historical avant-garde was an essential uh, poetic issue. As a rule, neo-avant-garde referred to the experience of, for example, Dadaism or in the Yugoslav context uh, of uh, Zenitism, uh, all male groups and uh, collectives. However, Bogdan Kapuzanovic uh, has published the text about the surrealist painter Milena Pavlovich Varili. And in fact, it may be the first text in which the representatives of the new artistic practice write about their avant garde predecessors. So, a woman about a woman. Uh, this gesture is multifold and meaningful, both in the poetic sense and uh, more widely in the cultural and uh, emancipatory sense. Uh, the Yugoslav public of those years was starting to discover Milena Pavlovich Barili's paintings, and she's an exceptional artist uh, with a distinctly gynocentric corpus, an artist of a hybrid national identity, a polyglot, an artist who communicated with different traditions, but also engaged in contemporary pop forms, such as fashion magazines. So her nomadic creative uh, identity was undoubtedly crucial in a formative sense for the generation of women in the uh, 60s. Since uh, 1970, uh, Bogdan Kapoznanovic has been editing pages devoted to contemporary art as a separate segment in Polya, and translations of those pages also appear in the Hungarian language magazine U Symposium and uh, Belgrade magazine's Student and uh, Bello, uh, the work. In an innovative critical form, form, uh, reminiscent of the chronicle and format of uh, all uh, newspapers uh, or posters, uh, Bogdan Kapuznanovic informed the Yugoslav public about the latest tendencies and achievements in the world art scene, being an essential cultural transmitter. Uh, finally, uh, it is important to say that Bogdan Kapuznanovic uh, a professor at the Art Academy in Novi Sad founded the Visual Studio for Intermedial Research in 1979, uh, 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 the first university program dedicated to new media in uh, Yugoslavia. Judita Šalgo was the editor-in-chief of the Youth Tribune in its uh, heroic period from 1968 to 1971. In a later interview, she testified that the entire work at Tribune was her job. Program editing, cooperation with authors, logistics, and finance. So the fundamental institution of Novi Sad's artistic practice the paramount area of activity of radical and subversive artistic and collectives was led by Judith Schalko. And Schalko herself uh, also performed at the Youth Tribune. But uh, after a few years, a series of bans, removals, and even prison sentence, uh, Judith Schalko uh, got fired. Uh, Judith Schalko published her works in Polya and translations from the Hungarian language. And uh, it is a kind of translation activism connecting the Hungarian and Serbian Croatian artistic communities during the 60s. Uh, Schalko translated the authors gathered around the magazine Uy Symposium. Also, Judith Schalgo has been translating Katalin Ladik's poem for years. In an interview, Katalin Ladik stated that Judith Schalgo helped her translate from Hungarian to Serbian. And we can conclude that these two authors had an intense collaboration and an agreeable understanding of the creative act. 
With her translations, Judita Shalgo introduced Katami Ladik to Serbian Croatian speaking area and the poetic newness implied by Katami Ladik work. With this, she expanded the available poetical repertoire of Yugoslav culture, which is extremely important if we consider the feminist discourse of Katami Ladik's creativity. In the magazine Polya, Along with her first translations of uh, Katani Ladik, Judita Shalko published the text Dangerous Games of the Construction, a text in which she maps the poetic features of Katani Ladik and positions her as an innovative and, in that sense, a paradigmatic creative figure. It is a radical poetic, even political gesture considering that uh, Katalin Ladik, uh, her creative figure, is a figure in which minority identities intersect. Um, she comes from a, a minority language community and um, uh, she's a woman. Still, uh, Katalin Ladik's poetry is uh, uh, for Judith Shalgo uh, foundation for writing the programmatic text of the new literary tendencies. And the exceptional politics of this text is reflected precisely in that uh, multiple interventions uh, in the symbolic order of the community. In, in addition to editorial, critical and translation work, Bogdan Kapuznanović, Judita Šalko, and Katalin Vladik marked the new avant-garde uh, Novi Sad scene with their uh, artistic practice. Uh, Bogdan Kapuznanović is one of the first artists in Yugoslavia who engaged in performances and actions, art in public space, male art, artist books, installations, and video art. She researched different types of uh, abandonment of the traditional space, the space of exhibition practice, such as museums and galleries, and uh, traditional media, for example, standard book format. Uh, she focused on public space uh, structures that imply movement and process and multi uh, multimedia media. And Bogdan Kapuznanovic is the author of uh, extensive uh, range of activities, and I will only uh, only a few uh, single singled out. On September 20, 1970, in Novi Sad, uh, Bogdan Kapuznanovic uh, performed her, her first action, uh, Heart and Object. Uh, Bogdan Kapuznanovic Heart Object was the first action in the public space in Novi Sad. She invented her friends to carry a heart-shaped object uh, made of uh, styrofoam through the city, from the Varadin bridge, Varadin bridge to the Youth Tribune Gallery, with the idea of a procession that initiates, initiates a carnival atmosphere. And she, uh, she said, I quote, uh, it was communication with the city, people commented, participated, end quote. They brought the heart into the gallery over a white sheet that covered the floor to place it in the middle of the space, where there was a square plate with sets of plates, knives, forks, spoons, and glasses, all empty, fixed, and white. Poznanovic uh, later commented, I came up, unhooked the metronome. There was complete silence. We were the living frame and heard our pulses. This project is also connected with our customs. When the bride enters the house, steps over a white cloth, end quote. Bogdanka Poznanovic marks a gendered experience in this performance with uh, nuanced associations. The heart is metonymic projection of what patriarchal society attributes to the female sphere, 
the culture of sentiment and effects. The title of the performance refers to the objectification and instrumentalization of uh, narratives about women and sensitivity. At the same time, she signals that the sensitivity of women in public is patriarchal structured. We can observe, observe uh, her performance in the carnival key as a rite of inversion, because traditionally, by marrying uh, women's feelings, her heart is limited by social norms, therefore not. In this performance, the ritual context enlivens the heart, enlivens the emotions, and frees the feminine sensibility from patriarchal restraints. Bogdan Kapoznanovic's first male artwork, uh, feedback, letterbox, information, decision, action, is the first large scale Novi Sad male art action carried out with the participation or, and postal communication of 38 artists from the country and abroad. Poznanovic sent photocopies of a photo of a uh, mailbox to artists' addresses with a request that they respond by sending her a drawing or a photo of mailbox, as she said, that unslightly part of the household inventory that has a special meaning for participants in interpersonal aesthetic communication. For her, uh, the goal was, I quote, that interpersonal communication should come to the fore exchanges, contacts, participation, acquaintances, and new acquaintances without boundaries in space, end quote. This artist, the artist uh, uh, Bogdan Kapuzanovic uh, emphasized that it is a most democratic, the male uh, uh, communication is uh, the most democratic form of communication, which does not obey strictly codified rules and experiences many transformations. She has been dealing with the artist book as a medium of, of expression since uh, 1973. That, uh, that's when she realizes her first Telata book as a transparent mini booklet. And he produced, uh, she produced uh, about uh, 15 artist books until uh, then. Atelier DT20, it is interesting, was uh, where the first exhibition of artist books from Yugoslavia was organized. Uh, Bogdanka Poznanovic, uh, as I uh, mentioned, is uh, one of the first Yugoslav artists who used new technologies. She realizes, uh, she realized several su such projects among which is the computer tape action and body in which she projected used computer tapes frames framed into numbered numbered dioramas over the bodies of 10 participants with the idea of dehumanizing the human body and finding a new identity in computer time. And uh, this project uh, not only uh, invokes Donna Haraway's uh, cyber manifesto, but is still very relevant uh, today. And she started doing video art uh, out of desire to record her, uh, her actions with the camera and turn them into a documentary art uh, video video. Uh, so it was a um, uh, very interesting form of self uh, archiving uh, process. And also Bogdan Kapoznanovic uh, recorded a video performance with uh, Katalin Ladik uh, poem in uh, 1979. For this performance, Poemim, uh, Katalin Ladik made a selection from her previous work and in a way uh, recapitulated her performance poetics. Uh, Poemim uh, reflects 
the critical features of Kaplan and Ladik's uh, performative art in, in the 70s, the orientation and exploration of the female body, the politicization of female sexuality, and the transgressive nature of female roles and positions. Uh, Katalin Radic's creativity ranges from literature to acting, uh, experimental sound compositions, radio plays, phonetic visual poetry, happening performance, and male art. Uh, she published 20 collections of poetry and one novel. Uh, she published her first poems in the magazine Uy Symposium in the early 60s. Katalin Ladik was encouraged by collective poetry improvisations organized by Otto Tomei, Istvan Domonkos, and uh, Laszlo Egel. At the same time, Katalin Ladik centered her poetry around women's sub uh, subjectivity and experience. The very titles of her collections, especially uh, stories of the seven-headed serving machine, uh, the promiscuous broom, arrogant zone, point to the author's playing with and challenging the position of woman in the symbolic order of the community, as well as the research of uh, women's marginalized experience in the public space, primarily female sexuality and pleasures. The same narrative is characteristic of performance of uh, her performance uh, during uh, the seventies. In her performances, Katalin Ladik used her body as an instrument or medium, ritually playing numerous uh, women's roles, basing her interpretations on uh, autobiographical material. Uh, she was bank officer, wife, mother, and the critical gesture of her performances is, is uh, the transition from the object position to the subject's woman artist position, thus subverting the visual regime of art in which the woman is the object of the gaze, not the subject and the producers. Uh, her performances have numerous mythological ritual references, uh, vitalist uh, energy and uh, disobedience. Uh, female sexuality is perhaps the most radical field of uh, Kaplan and Ladik's uh, activities, an activity directed, directed towards the liberation of female sexuality from patriarchal interpretation and the creation of narratives about sexuality as a field of uh, women's emancipation and autonomy. The, performative, uh, the performance of shaman songs, while draped only in animal skin by candlelight, was one of the most radical female artistic expression of the neo-avant-garde scene in the Yugoslav cultural space. Uh, regarding the poem performance, uh, Katalin Ladik uh, commented, uh, I quote, what exactly is a pretty woman's face? Society demands that a woman has a pretty face and a handsome body. I consider that request unfair. I protested in performances where I wore a mask or showed myself without hair as if bald. In the poem in performance, I expressed the protest, protest with the help of a piece of window glass against which I pressed my face and with strong pressure, I deformed it into a grotesque expression. Yes, that's me too. And fault. Uh, Katalin Ladik's visual research focused on the uh, representation of women. Uh, interestingly, uh, she used visual means of women's media culture. culture. At the same time, uh, she was the only female member of the conceptual group uh, Bosch plus Bosch from uh, 1973 to 1976, 
Nevertheless, she had her sound and sound performance territory and theory and performed visual and conceptual work. So she's a, 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 a uh, even uh, uh, even uh, she was part of the male macho group. Uh, she was uh, a distinctly autonomous creative uh, uh, creative figure. And um, uh, she included clippings from fashion magazines and Taylor's sheets in conceptual works. She uh, reinterpreted, uh, reinterpreted or reshaped conceptual art, seemingly natural and universal language, with signifiers from women's experiences, work, and culture. And these actions, and you can see uh, some of her collages, uh, these actions uh, allows us to establish female creative uh, continuities in Yugoslav context and uh, broader in uh, European context. For example, uh, on, the, on the one hand, in the 70s and 80s, the metaphors of uh, 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 embroidery and uh, women's pop popular magazine became the subject of feminist artistic interventions and feminist theory. Uh, Kathleen Ladik's creative procedures are similar to, for example, Sonia Ivekovic, uh, Sonia, uh, 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 sorry, Sonia Ivekovic's work. On the other hand, uh, Hannah Hech appropriate and uh, recombined images and text from mass media to criticize the socially constructed roles of women. Uh, her experiments with modernist abstraction and pattern designs blurred the boundaries between traditional gendered forms of uh, expressions. Uh, there, uh, therefore, uh, Katalin Ladik's work is part of the Yugoslav and European context of feminist discourse, for example, from uh, Hannah Heck to uh, Sanja Ivekovic, which has its continuity and she, Katalin Ladix, represents its uh, necessary stage. At the same time, uh, Katalin Ladik included her body in mass media production and became one of the icons of popular culture in the early 70s in Yugoslavia. The relationship between Katalin Ladik's creativity and popular culture is very complex. Uh, she published nude photographs in the popular magazine Start, and her action caused her exclusion from the Communist Party because the members of the party thought that she was an element that breaks Communist League. However, by all accounts, the liberated naked female body was the band boundary, both in the so-called elite or mass media, elite culture or mass, uh, mass culture. Uh, eventually, the mass media uh, used her nudity as a means of as a means of uh, emancipation for her and subversion for their uh, tabloid. Uh, tabloid needs. Uh, so the case of uh, Katalin Ladik uh, reflects the patriarchal, patriarchal constellation of power in which a woman is the object of men's sexual fantasies and or a valuable, uh, profitable commodity. Even today, her interventions are not sufficiently integrated into canonical narratives about the neo-avant-garde, therefore, as their formative element, which they were, which they are. Consequently, we can rhetorically wonder if the only value that the neo-avant-garde, after all, like the avant-gardes, did not question was precisely patriarchy. The work of Katalin Ladik, as well as uh, Judith Schauke, 
is vital for the formation of feminist discourse in uh, Yugoslav culture. Uh, Ladik herself says that in the beginnings, she didn't know much about feminist theories and those that reach her were not close to her. Her artistic rebellion, a rebellion expressed through female symbols and language came intuitively in a way through her own, uh, through her own experience of repression in patriar pat patriarchal uh, life and uh, creative context. Uh, she said, uh, I quote, uh, that's why I express my rebellion through those small things that every woman, do woman does with the conviction that it can also be an object of art or a way, or a way of uh, artistic expression. When I started writing in Hungarian in the mid 60s, I didn't know the theory of the feminism. I don't even know if there was an overview, overview in Serbia. The theory did not programmatically exist existed in my work. Still, I started from personal experience and formed a kind of liberation from family and workplace as a protest in the 70s." End quote. And feminists uh, recognize her art as uh, an essential articulation of a woman who rejects patriarchal norms, and she was a guest at the most significant international fem feminist conference in one communist country, uh, Comrade Woman, in 1978 in Belgrade. The emergence of feminist discourse in Yugoslavia is uh, mainly related to the theoretical works and this conference is one of the crucial markers of feminist gathering and action in Yugoslavia. However, the generation of female artists in the 60s and 70s developed emancipatory strategies that should be comprehended and conceptualized. The works of uh, women within the frame, framework of new artistic practice is a critical stage largely overlooked in articulating feminist ideas in Yugoslavia after the Second World War. Although Katalin Ladik, Judith Shalgo, and Bogdan Kapoznamovic did not create artistic actions, poetry, and performances within the framework of precisely defined theoretical platform or political agenda, uh, uh, they are essential emancipatory motion in the Yugoslav culture that we can certainly a posteriori to label as feminist. In this sense, uh, their language research is particularly challenging, both bilingualism and the transfer from linguistic to visual or uh, performative communicative code. It's about the kind of occupation of language, its uh, domestication, uh, opposition to the phallocentrism of speech and the culture that is mediated by, by it and its uh, personalization. Writing personal experience into the language idiom and its aesthetic mode, writing a female epistemological and uh, experiential positions. And these procedures are uh, specific to the poetry and performances of Katalin Ladik, but also the poetry and performances of um, Judith Schalgo. Uh, today, uh, Judith Schalgo is better known for her prose and essay writing. Uh, created later in her life and published uh, during the 90s and uh, 2000. Uh, however, uh, we are talking about one of the key figures of the Novi Sad scene in the late 60s and uh, 70s. Uh, as, I as I mentioned, uh, she worked as an editor, translator, critic, poet, and performer 
uh, during that uh, period. Uh, poetry was one of the critical media of the uh, neo-avant-garde. Uh, the poetry of that time was, uh, was orientated toward language and language experiments, which were directed, uh, directed precisely toward language itself. In other words, language in its materiality becomes the content of poetry, freeing itself from any instrumentalization or normative referentiality. In the case of female authors, such as Judith Schalgo, challenging the conventionality and instrumentalization of language is not devoid of addressing social mechanism that operate in the sphere of language or gender-based or language as gender-based social tools. Therefore, uh, female authors did not object only to language as such, but uh, to language as a space or a means of masculinist uh, actions and thinking. Uh, and the emergence of a female poetic or performing subject and the poetization of female subjectivity is one of the poetic features of uh, Judita Schalgo's work. Uh, the poetry collection, um, 67 minutes out loud, collects Judita Schalgo works written in the late um, 60s and early uh, 70s. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, Judita Schalgo has created these works in the cross-genre space of poetry and visual arts and some text uh, uh, some text some uh, some of these texts she uh, she performed Chalgo breaks the linearity of the poems and the conventional graphic structuring of the text uh, visualizing the poems meanings often uh, she graphically organizes the text based on the principles of documents whose language she subjects to ironic manipulation and creative processing. Shango erases the boundaries between poetic and non-poetic language, playing with language uh, referential and com communicative function using the language of, uh, 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 language of administrative documents, newspaper text, and um, text and uh, pathology. In the poetic sense, uh, Shalgo's note at the end of the book is fundamental. She points out that she has written the text in the early 70s and that works like, and that works like this, which she knows only the regulatory labels such as poetic prose, hybrid poster, were out quickly and she, hope, she hopes temporarily because obsolete. Such texts peep out from the literature, standing in an open door in the draft and perhaps that is their sensitivity to the changes of time. So Judith Schalgo addresses, addresses the cyclical nature of poetic revolutions describing her works in the same context and the variance of the necessity of permanent review of the poetic. So she postulates poetry's movement, process, duality, and contextuality against the concept of poetry for eternity. Katalin Ladik uh, and Judith Shogo uh, represent uh, the first generation of female poets in Yugoslavia, question the system of representation of poetry, questioning the possibilities of language as a medium of transposition and articulation of experiences. In later interviews, uh, Judith Schalgo talked about her language experience and the uh, adaptation of language to her own needs, time, and space. 
namely uh, her uh, her early childhood experience is part of her um, linguistic background or linguistic uh, biography. As the author herself says, uh, she spoke twice. She spoke Hungarian for the first time at the age of two. She was born as uh, Judith Meinham to, to a Jewish family. At the beginning of the Second World War, her father was taken to a camp in Hungary and killed in 1942. Uh, uh, and in uh, 1944, her mother was imprisoned at a camp in Germany. Uh, to protect her, her mother uh, hid her in Mali Ijoš, uh, the village near Subotica, with Aunt Anushka, a Hungarian woman who looked after her until her mother's return. So Hungarian is the language of her early childhood, but also the language of hiding and um, misunderstandings with the environment. She started speaking Serbian when she started school. Serbian is the language of her socialization. So a trauma, a historical, even historical trauma is written into her bilingualism. But she also re-examines the language of socialization from gender positions. Her texts contain an awareness of women's speech and the limitations of that speech, its absence from the symbolic order of community. When, for example, she uh, 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 reviews the language of uh, administrative documents, she scans them uh, from her positions. The language of the administration, she reviews uh, 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 administration, the allegedly uh, self-understanding and objectivity of that language, the system of relationships that these documents testify to, the relationship between the individual and the state bureaucracy, the mechanism of regulation to everyday life, or the individual, individual, Judith Shalgo always uh, recontextualized uh, or uh, um, uh, ironicized or uh, ridiculous from her subjective uh, uh, position, the positions of woman, woman with, exact, with uh, an exact physical situation, situated in the professional class sense, uh, sense of family uh, relations, etc. Uh, this recording of the experience of uh, women, women's day, everyday life, and especially female experience, such as uh, birth and um, uh, 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 breastfeeding, is realized subtly by the author by making this experience uh, a kind of anthropological constant that she includes in uh, in the documents. We can also read the poetics of the female experience in the author's orientation towards the sense of touch and uh, tactility as a medium of communication and the skin as a place to inscribe experiences. Uh, the poetics of uh, corporeality of the collection um, 67 minutes, the poetics of the body as a complex cultural narrative also brings Judith Schalke closer to, to the feminist artistic practice. Uh, the poem uh, Nezna Koja, uh, Gentle Skin, is very illustrative, uh, illustrated. A catalog of uh, verbs, adjectives, and nouns uh, that includes different skin experiences from pleasant to very violent, from aesthetic pleasure to most brutal violence. In the poem, some features I, some features are uh, gynocentric, such as rape, 
vulva, still the graphic, stru graphic structure, uh, uh, mons pubis, evokes female intimate zone. And it gives new meanings to the words because uh, 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 words like rotica, stabbing, uh, uh, scars, uh, kissing, uh, fragrance, uh, uh, opening have different meanings in the context of uh, the male uh, and female uh, experiences. Uh, Judith Schalgo uh, performances are also a space for uh, articulation female uh, subjectivity. Uh, performative readings took place in public space or intimate space at home. In principle, uh, Judith Schalgo in her performances in the early 70s re-examines the institution of art, especially literature, and Shalgo questions various traditionally established norms and conventions of art and uh, literature. She's, uh, uh, she's particularly interested in the issue of engagement uh, uh, action in the public space, to whom and on what basis belongs the right and power of representation, whose speech is legitimate uh, 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 legitimate in art. In this sense, her performance uh, entitled Position of Literature, Polozhe uh, Kniževnosti, is especially provocative. Judith Schalgo, uh, as you can see, uh, performed uh, standing, sitting, and lying down. She performs it alone, and the camera is directed towards her. Uh, uh, she translates female subjectivity from the sphere of leisure and marginality into the realm of, of, of public uh, and artistic representation, which is the symbolic capital of, uh, of culture. In one moment, uh, she says uh, that um, if the man is standing at the table, the public expect, uh, expect uh, him to make a political speech. If the woman is standing at the table, everyone expecting dancing. So fully aware of gender stereotypes, uh, Judith Schalgo critically, subversively destroys this expectation, consistently politizing and uh, uh, the appearances of the visual representation of uh, women in the direction of uh, emancipation. Uh, so, uh, uh, revising the neo-avant-garde or uh, revisiting uh, the neo-avant-garde means uh, including all the specifics of women's creativity into the narrative of the Novi Sad, um, Yugoslav, uh, neo-avant-garde making that narrative much more inter integral and complex in its manifestations. Uh, Bogdan Kapuznanovic and Judith Schalgo, uh, with their editorial, critical, and translation work, are significant figures of cultural mediation and neo-avant-garde production, but also uh, authors who promoted uh, women's creativity as formative for the new artistic practice. This is, uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, one, uh, uh, this is an often uh, marginalized aspect of the neo-avant-garde. Uh, uh, also, uh, neo-avant-garde artists understood production as a collective art, art acts. Uh, the collectivity uh, uh, is precisely the place of the distinct politics of the new artistic practice, uh, whether we observe them in intimate context or in the context of the community within which they act. act. Female authors are essential actors in the Novi Sad uh, uh, scene in those forms and formats that enable artistic activity and integrate and legitimize in 
uh, it in artistic production. Also, uh, 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 authors such as Judith Shalgo, Bogdan Kapuznanovic, and Katalin Ladik initiated numerous innovative art forms in their environment. Uh, finally, uh, these uh, authors uh, relativized the assessment that the neo-avant-garde did not re-examine all traditional va values that is patriarchy. Uh, Katalin Ladik, Judith Shalko, and Bogdan Kapuznanovic uh, confirmed that women did that uh, in their in their work. Uh, thank you very much for your patience and uh, attention. I hope that I attracted your attention to the creativity of these three exceptional uh, exceptional artists. Uh, thank you.